UAS proposes a, a unique challenge in that it stresses every part of the kill chain. It also doesn't supplant any of the existing missions that we had in terms of air defense. You still got to worry about cruise missiles, hypersonics, manned aircraft, all those types of things. And so because of that, a lot of the existing systems aren't quite as effective or are overkill in terms of, you know, everyone talks about cost asymmetry. And so as we look towards solutions that can deal with that, we need to consider all those things, whether it's cost or magazine depth, uh, you know, those tend to be uh, really driving a, a lot of the narrative uh, in, in a lot of the, you know, what we see, whether it's the, you know, the Red Sea and the Houthis launching cheap uh, cruise missiles there, or whether it's what we saw, you know, uh, Operation Spiderweb, as the Colonel mentioned, or Operation Rising Lion, where the Israelis went in and uh, disabled all of Iran's air defense and basically ran uh, unencumbered. And so we gotta learn all those lessons. I know uh, it can sometimes be a challenge to learn a lesson uh, from someone else's expense, but it's a cheap way to do it, and we should take advantage of that.